Hello everyone. You are watching the Addis channel. Today, we will provide more details about the settings of the DOM levels indicator and DOM trader, and we will learn how colors are calculated on the heat map. The operating principle is simple. In the historical section, we can see a list of price levels and timestamps. There is always the minimum and maximum volume of pending orders. The indicator colors these levels and all volumes between them based on the gradient defined in the color scheme parameter. Currently, the minimum volume is depicted in a dark purple color, while the maximum volume is shown in red. Now let's go through the settings. Suppose there is a significant volume appearing on a particular section of the chart. In this case, the indicator will highlight it with maximum brightness, while the colors of other volumes will be subdued as they are relatively smaller. To address this issue, we have the cutoff parameter. Let's say we set the maximum volume to 100 lots. By setting the cutoff parameter to 10%, it means that the indicator will consider 90 lots as the maximum volume after subtracting 10% from 100 lots. In other words, the more we reduce the set maximum, the more small levels the indicator takes into account, which results in a brighter visualization. This allows us to achieve a smoother representation of the data. The contrast parameter works in a similar way, but when increased, it removes small volumes from the visualization. Next, we have the smoothing DOM parameter. It combines and smooths neighboring levels when vertically scaling the chart. This is done to make the levels more noticeable during scaling and prevent them from turning into thin lines. You can adjust the visualization yourself by setting the value to manual. Smoothing is applied in such a way that the levels are highlighted around the extremes. Next, we have the animation speed. The parameter is responsible for a smooth and aesthetic change in visualization when scaling. Log scale is an additional parameter that allows you to calculate the colors of each level using a logarithmic scale, rather than a proportional scale. It can enhance the brightness of the highlights and reduce unnecessary noise. Use transparency. All colors are selected proportionally, but if we check this option, a gradation of transparency levels will be added to the color gradation depending on the volume at each level. The last parameter is custom proportion. It sets the maximum volume on which further analysis will be based. See how the chart changes when we set it to 500 bitcoins as the maximum. That's all for now. We hope that now setting DOM levels and DOM trader will be easier. Subscribe, hit the like button, and see you in new videos.